It's tinfoil hat day again at the Guide to Space. There are some people who would have you believe the universe is expanding. They're peddling this idea that it all started with a bang, that the expansion is continuing and accelerating, and yet they can't tell us what force is causing this acceleration. Just dark energy or some other J.K. Rowling-esque sounding thing, otherwise known as the acceleration that shall not be named, and it shall be taught in the class which follows potions in third period. I propose to you, faithful viewer, an alternative to this expansionist conspiracy. What if distances are staying the same, and everything is in fact shrinking? Are we destined to compress all the way down to the microverse? Is it only a matter of time before our galaxy starts drinking its coffee from a thimble, or perhaps sealed in a pendant hanging on Orion's belt? So could we tell if that's actually what's going on? Better get some scotch tape for the hats, kids. This one gets pretty rocky right out of the gate. Now the first horrible and critical assumption here is that shrinking objects and an expanding universe would look exactly the same. With, without magic or hand waving, that just isn't the case. But you don't have to take my word for it, we have science to punch holes in our shrink truther conspiracy. Now let's start with distances. If we assume the Earth and everything on it was getting smaller, we'd also be shrinking things like meter sticks. In the past they would have been larger, and if everything was larger in the past, including the length of a meter, this means the speed of light would have appeared slower in the past. So was the speed of light slower in the past? I'm afraid it wasn't, which really hobbles the Shrinky Dink universe plot. But how do we know that? You've probably seen spectral lines before, or at least heard of them referenced. Scientists use them to determine the chemical composition of materials. A changing speed of light would affect the spectral lines of distant objects. And because some people are just super smart and we're able to do the math on this, we know that when we look at distant gas clouds, we find the speed of light has changed no more than one part in a billion over the past seven billion years. So shrinking objects would also become more dense over time. And this means that the universal constant of gravity should appear smaller in the past. And some have actually studied this to determine whether it has changed over time. And they've also seen no change. So if objects in the universe were shrinking, the universe would actually be collapsing. If galaxies weren't moving away from each other, their gravity would cause them to start falling towards each other. And if they were shrinking, assuming their mass doesn't change, their gravity would just be as strong. So shrinking wouldn't stop their mutual attraction. A universe of shrinking objects would look exactly opposite to what we observe. So good news, we're pretty sure that objects and us and all other things in the universe are not shrinking. Uh, we're still not sure why anyone would name a thing Shrinky Dinks, especially a craft toy marketed to children. Do you know any other crazy theories to explain the expanding universe we're observing? Share them with us in the comments below. Also, feel free to make up your own while you're at it. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen, and we'd like to thank Craig Hayes and the rest of the members who support us in our quest to make great space and astronomy content every week. Our community members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get in on the action? Click here. So I've actually studied this. Should we just wait for this dog to be done with this? Dog's got something to say, man. Yeah. Can't, can't, can't keep the truth quiet.